guys, we are checking in from Gilly Air. If you've been watching my vlogs recently, you'll see that we're currently on a big trip together. If you're new to the channel, hey, my name's Steph and this is my boyfriend, Trev. Um, we are on a big three week trip and this is our third stop. So we started in Dubai. We had three days there. There's a vlog of that, so go check that out. Then we did uh, four days in a boot yep. in Bali. So if you haven't seen that yet, go check that out. And now we are in the Gilly Islands. So we've been staying on Gilly Air for two days. Three this days now? Third day. This is our third day. No, it's our fourth day. Huh? It's our fourth day. Yeah, it is. It's our fourth day here, and we're taking a boat trip to see some of the other Gilly Islands. So we are going to Gilly oh, Tea. Gilly. No. Got here, slept. Got here, slept. Got here, slept. Got here. So today we are going to see Gilly Tea and Gilly Menno. We're going to do some snorkeling, hopefully see some turtles, hopefully see some clownfish like Finding Nemo. And it is one of the most beautiful places ever, isn't it? It's stunning. The vegan food scene here is incredible. There's a full Bali Stories highlights on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me, head to Healthy Chef Steph and you can watch our full highlights if you're planning on coming to Bali and you want to know about locations about restaurants accommodation all that kind of stuff go check that out but we are on the boat and ready to go let's go How has our morning been so far? Unbelievable. It's been amazing. We've been to three different snorkel sites. So the first one we went to was at Gilly Tea, where we saw two different turtles. Ow. When we saw two different turtles. Then we went to another spot on Gilly Tea where we saw loads of coral reefs and loads of fish. And there was a tiger fish that swam about this close to Trev and tried to bite you, didn't it? Yeah, it was protecting its home, wasn't it? Yeah, so our... Let's get the sh <laughs> So our tour guides told us that apparently if they're nesting eggs, they get really defensive. So obviously Trev swam a little bit too close for their liking and then the mum went for him. We got the boat to Gilly Menno where there's underwater statues in like a little circle. What did you say? It, cre it creates a kind of artificial reef, just like a, I imagine, like a, like a ship sunken wreck. ship. Yeah, yeah ship wreck. which was so cool, wasn't it? Was it? Cool. Yeah, it was and there's like all fish swimming inside it and around it and stuff. And then now we are on Gilly Menno. Gilly Menno is a slightly smaller and less populated island. It's beautiful. We have such an insane view right now. And we're going to sit in the sunshine and have some delicious food. What's this place called? Um, this is called Diana Cafe. Diana Cafe. Yeah, nice. Lovely. So for lunch, we are having an Indonesian curry with tempeh and some steamed rice. And then here, we are having some vegetarian spring rolls. Since being here, Trev's new obsession is fresh coconuts. So what number is this? 10. This is double figures. <laughs> we are obsessed.
Hey guys, how are we? I hope you enjoyed watching our little snorkeling trip. Just checking in back from our beautiful room. I showed some of that at the beginning of this video. I had such an amazing day on the boat trip. I actually wasn't gonna vlog. So I said at the end of my last vlog that I was gonna vlog. Then I decided I wasn't. And then today I decided it's so beautiful here. I kind of want to show you a little bit of what we got up to. Um, so sadly, I haven't been able to incorporate all the amazing places that we've eaten at. The vegan food scene on Gilead is freaking ridiculous. The food is delicious so fresh they always have tofu and tempeh so there's always like a really good plant-based protein source but the food the vegetables everything is delicious but if you are coming to Gilead, there are two places that you need to eat at well three places pasha mama breakfast lunch and dinner everything is epic the location is beautiful it's not expensive all of the food is such amazing quality so like um trev had some roasted eggplant dish it was like a poke bowl i had some um courgette pasta with a homemade pesto sun-dried tomatoes cashew uh parmesan we had tofu spring rolls we had um a banana what was it a banoffee pie vegan banoffee pie which was freaking insane then the other place you need to try is musa so m-u-s-a we had a veggie platter which was all slow roasted vegetables with different dips there were flaxseed crackers there were eggplant fries that literally blew our mind and um, there was a banana bread covered in a raw cacao drizzle which was just like the soft texture was unbelievable and then the last place is called aura bowls which is voted the best place on the island so musa and pashamama are kind of more luxury quirky places all made of bamboo and hanging lights and instagrammable spot but aura bowls is like a shack is literally like off someone's house it's just a blender and some bowls and they make you the most unbelievable smoothie bowls that are so colorful and beautiful it's amazing that is kind of the main food spots on the island that i'd kind of recommend there is a gym called holiday fit gym that we've been to a couple of times but the highlight for us has been the yin yoga at either h2o yoga or fire and flowers yoga that's been amazing and then we've done that quite a lot but i can't lie it took me a few days to kind of warm into gilier just because as soon as you get docked into the harbor you're kind of greeted by carts pulled along by horses and the horses don't look very happy um it's lovely because there's no cars on the island there's only about two mopeds everything else is cycling or horseback but it's just a little bit sad just because i'm such an animal lover like i can see the horses don't really want to be pulling along a cart so at first i was a little bit like i don't like it here but i've slowly warmed into it i think coming from a bird where everyone is so used to tourism and it thrives off of tourism to coming somewhere so almost derelict and kind of um untouched has been a little bit of a shock to the system because in a bird everyone was literally like they couldn't wait to help you faster and here everyone's a little bit more calm a little bit more island life small island kind of thing um so that's one thing i would say <sighs> don't get me wrong and i have to say this in a nice way everyone is friendly but just a bird the people in a bird were next level friendly like I could have been best friends with everyone do you know what i mean yeah so it just took me a little longer to warm to this part of bali however today seeing it from a boat and um, seeing it from like the outside looking in and going around it more and, and when we hired bikes so the place that we found i actually just googled boutique hotel in gilier found this place which is beautiful i think it's like 60 pounds a night or something you get breakfast included you get coffees drinks smoothies all of that included you get a little private pool uh, which you share with like maybe six other bungalows it's really really beautiful and also for 40 thousand whatever this currency is you get some bikes which is about two pounds fifty a day and so we've been cycling around the island and i think now that i've seen more of it i've fallen more in love with it and it's kind of rough around the edges it's more untouched like i said and i'm really really enjoying it here because we've been doing a lot of evening yoga we haven't seen proper sunsets yet and the sunsets here are supposed to be beautiful we kind of got one on the first night um but tonight we are dedicated to going to the west of the island and sitting in front of the sunset and watching it from start to finish and then getting some yummy dinner so we've been told that the best place to watch sunset is called maui's um, so we're gonna head there for some evening drinks that's kind of an update we are having the best time we're about two weeks into our trip now so we have about not even two yeah two weeks into our trip now so we've got just under a week left we've got closer than ever like he'd kill me for saying this but because we've literally been living in each other's pockets i think it can go one of two ways you can either start to bicker loads which we have don't get me wrong like i've got annoyed he's got annoyed but we just laugh and get past it but i think because we've been spending literally this is the longest we've ever been together 
with no breaks and no other people that we know we've literally just got so 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 close so i'm absolutely loving it i think we've also decided that when he retires from rugby we might move out here for six months not to gilly air but to bali just because this side of the world is so beautiful the food is so fresh but just slowing our lives down getting everywhere by bike taking it slowly eating food that's packed with nutrients and things like that has just honestly been amazing having the best time um but we're gonna go back to fire and flowers yoga now but they've got a beautiful cafe actually recommend going there for food as well if you're vegan it's really yummy and then we're gonna come back get ready and go to sunset so let's go <laughs> bungalow i don't know um but we ended up having a little snack at fires and fl flowers and fire flowers and fire fires and flat at the yoga we ended up having a little snack at the yoga studio just because the food is so unreal when i said there was only three good spots on this island there's actually four you need to make sure you go there as well if you're planning a trip we had some vegetable spring rolls in rice paper we had some edamame beans and we had hot cacao which was unbelievable laundry here is so cheap so trevor's gone to pick up our laundry that we put in earlier then we're gonna get ready and then we're gonna go and watch the sunset oh i was just speaking about you oh. you okay yeah washing done washing's done how's your day been so far it's been class we had a little snorkeling session didn't we i think you say we had a little snog and i was like oh don't say that how old are you i'm 20 21 22 20, how old am i 23 you okay I'm okay, you okay? You've had too much sun. I was just saying how good the um, hot cacao was. Oh yeah, really good. Yeah. You liked it a little bit sweeter than I did, didn't you? Mm. How have you found being vegan for two weeks? Oh, don't ask me that now. Oh, okay. Okay then. Anyway, so I have like three seconds to get changed and we're going to go to Maui's to hopefully make sunset. Oh, getting ready. I love watching him do his hair. No one wants to see this. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. He always makes me late because he takes so long to get ready. Look, Cal, you're not ready. I'm ready. Are you? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, so this play suit, by the way, is about three years old. So before you ask where it's from, you ain't finding this anywhere. I think it was Sabo Skirt, which is an Australian website. But yeah, I got it like three or four years ago. Sorry. <laughs> you look fit. Let's go. was incredible wasn't it 
Yeah. It was delicious. The chips are life changing. So add that to your list of recommendations. If you're coming to Gilead, we went for the jackfruit tacos, the chickpea and cucumber bowl with basil dressing, the vegetable spring rolls. We've had three portions of spring rolls today. And then what else did we get? The chips, unbelievable. Then whilst we were driving along the coast on our little bikes on the way back here, we saw an outdoor cinema. So it's like this huge screen with a projector, loads of bean bags, beach chairs, everything. And at eight o'clock, there's a showing of the new Jumanji film. So we're coming back here now to load up on bug spray and then we're gonna get into comfy clothes. We're gonna go back to our favorite restaurant, Musa. Do we have time? We do, don't we? Yeah. yeah, to get the banana bread and then we're going to go back to the open air cinema, watch the movie before coming back here to pack. So we're literally making the most of our last night here and it was amazing. Our last sunset was beautiful. So I'm going to get into some comfy clothes and then we're going to head back out. latest night we've had in a very long time it's like half 10 and we've only just got home i'm making it sound like we've had a wild night out but we've literally been in bed by like eight or nine every night haven't we <laughs> <laughs> it's because we're getting up so early and we're doing so much in the days and then by the time it gets to like nine we're exhausted but how amazing was that yeah it was nice wasn't it that the was sky. just sky we could see amazing. the whole milky way we were sat in front of the the movie um, which I wish I could have filmed better, but it was just so dark. And then we looked up and the stars were so clear, you could literally see the whole Milky Way. You hate talking to camera, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> the film was so funny, I freaking love Kevin Hart. He's brilliant. Um, but I feel like it was the perfect last <laughs> evening. Just, yeah, chilled. It was just amazing. I think we've probably been bitten alive by mosquitoes, so that's <clears> going to be fun in the morning, waking up to all those bites. But can you just tell me your favourite thing about Gilly Air, please? The Promise food. Me. The food. I can agree with that. Go on, share your favourite dish. The Moussa veggie platter with the dips. Yes, Moussa. That's and where we went for bread. banana bread tonight. I hope you've enjoyed today. A little insight into what we did at Gilead. We are heading to Seminyak tomorrow, which is like the more touristy part of Bali, I believe. So we're going there for two days. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe so that you can see what we get up to in Seminyak. Come and say goodbye. He's so sleepy, bless him. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Shh, and don't forget to subscribe. Love you, bye. Bye. bye.